All right, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about lighting and I learned a few things when it comes to lighting music videos and in this video, we're only talking music videos. We're not talking about corporate because you know, those require a different type of lighting. But when it comes to music videos, you kinda gotta break that. So stick around and let's talk about it. All right, so let's just jump straight into it. So music videos, when it comes to lighting, the one thing that I was doing over and over and over again, and of course I was switching and getting different type of looks, but the one thing I was always doing was putting a softbox on my light and the key light was always a softbox. That was the main thing to do because, you know, we've all seen YouTube videos talking about soft lighting, it's cinematic, it looks good. And yeah, 80% of that is true, but the one thing that I started doing and switching up and seeing how it works and it's been working has been sometimes switching up by not using a soft softbox when it comes to a key light. Sometimes you should try a Fresnel. This here is a Fresnel and this is the one that I use for the Forza 60, Forza 60B that I own from Nanlife. I mean, I've had Fresnels over the past few years, but as of recent, when it comes to my music videos, I've used a few of them as key lights. Normally it was always softbox as I mentioned, but when I started using these as key lights, it gave me a whole different look. There's a time and place where you can break it and you know, you go out the way when it comes to music videos to get a harsher look. The other thing that I started doing was the Fresnel that I don't know if a lot of you guys use it, but you know, the Fresnels that come with your light, what I started doing with these is the one problem that I have, for example, is if I'm using, let's just say this type of studio or this type of room to light up a set when it comes to a music video. If the artist is really close to the background, you're gonna start seeing shadow from his body going onto the wall. So one thing I learned to counter that was using the Fresnel here, not a Fresnel, but this reflector for your music videos, like bouncing it off walls and stuff, it definitely creates a different type of look. Sometimes it could give a natural look if you bounce it off things. This here, I never used the reflectors. Every time my light came with it, the first thing I did was change it for like a Fresnel. Like I'll swap it in the bag and I'll just have a Fresnel. But now I take both because there's different type of ways when it comes to lighting. It's not all about just using a soft box. I know we all tend to use it as a key light, but sometimes you have to break it or sometimes don't even hit them straight on. You know, as I mentioned, use the reflector and bounce it off the ceiling and you will get a clean image. Now you are gonna get somewhat of a flat look while using this reflector, but if you know how to color grade, that's where you get your separation and you're able to switch it up and get that clean look. For example, I'm gonna provide you guys a clip right now that was used only with a reflector bouncing straight off the ceiling to get this type of color grade. Now that you guys saw what I was able to get with the reflector, now let me show you guys a clip that I got with two of these Fresnels. Basically they're both in a 90 degree angle and no softbox, no key light. It was, well, these were the key lights. So let me play that for you guys right now. So you see, there's different type of looks that look cool. What I liked about this one was when it was beaming straight down on the artist, you saw the shadows on the floor. It was a little harsh that it caused those shadows, but it gave it that cinematic look. There's a way to play with the lighting and just see what works, what doesn't. You know, we're always stuck in a situation where maybe the softbox won't work. So try bouncing off the ceiling or, you know, spotlight him or figure things out. You know, maybe give a harsh light. I mean, there's different type of ways that I learned when it comes to lighting. I know a lot of videos out there is all about soft boxes and stuff, but again, try different modifiers and you will notice what I mean. It will definitely give you a different look. It will be challenging at times. You might mess up at the beginning by doing it too harsh or not doing it right, but it's all practice. That's all I can say. So yeah, if you guys like this video, drop it a like and uh, comment if you guys have any questions and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out guys.